Alright guys, welcome back to Centennial Customs. In the last video I mentioned that I uh, kind of had a bit of a secret. If you haven't guessed it yet, wife and I are moving. We bought a, bought a nice place on some acreage. And yes, it has a shop. And that shop even has a hoist. So I'm super pumped for that. But in order to move, I got to get this thing more complete. Last video I finished up the firewall and I got the steering column in there. So at least I could get this on a trailer. And get it over there now i just want to put as much shit as i can on the truck just to make it easy easier to move i'm gonna put the fenders the hood back on and then i'm just gonna put the seats the console the dash whatever i could just throw into the cab just to get in there so i just hopefully don't lose anything that i need so we're just gonna have to get after that in this video Okay, I'm already running into a bit of a problem. I don't want to call it a problem because I already have a solution, but uh, these hood hinges on these 50s, see if I can do this with one hand here. They, the nut is on the hinge itself, so they bolt, they bolt from the inside out. So all your adjustment, you have to go under the dash. But once I have the full dash in there, once I get all the vents and stuff, it's going to be near impossible to get in there to uh, make adjustments or remove them if I have to. I'm sure on a regular 54 there's nothing really in that corner, but in this long boy swap there's going to be lots. So my solution is I have bought these rib nuts. Someone left in one of my earlier videos when I was welding nuts into the frame. Someone left a comment saying use rib nuts. I've definitely used them before and I finally bought myself a rib nut gun. So I'm going to pop some rib nuts in there. And that will leave me threads there. And then I will grind off the, uh, the square nut there. And then I'll just bolt it through there and have all my adjustment on the outside. And it should be all good. So you can see I got thread inserts now, and then I'll be able to uh, put the hinge on after I knock out these other threads. After I knock out these threads. Okay, hinge mounted. Uh, the third bolt is the factory one, it always went from the outside. Another two came from the inside. But now they all come from the outside, so I'll be able to do whatever adjustment I have. I could move it or whatever, which way I need now. All from the outside without going under the dash. So we'll get the other side done. Okay, front end back together, looks good, 
Check out that firewall now. Looks pretty good under here. Really cleans it up. So now I'm just gonna start stacking shit inside until everything I hopefully want to keep from the Envoy will be in the truck because I have an entire Envoy in the shed that I need to get rid of. Okay, I thought I'd maybe uh, give a little visual of both seats and your console dash in there. I think this is the first video that I have the steering wheel and the uh, seat in the same video. Uh, I'll say right now, this seat is a power seat, so I can't move it back right now. And it is all the way in the forward position. It does reach the back of the cab, and the steering wheel the seat position is perfect. Same as the original Envoy. I'm not worried about that, but I know every time I post a video of this, I get a comment, it's way too close, the steering wheel is too close, blah blah blah. I've already done it before once, it does work out. But we'll just keep loading more shit in here and we'll just fill it right up and then uh, hopefully clear out that shit. Okay, 54 is loaded up, garage is empty. Let's take it off to the new place. shop with a hoist. There's a square body sitting there. Finally get to sit indoors now. Got so much more room for stuff. Let's get this thing unloaded. Okay guys, here's a square body outside the shop. It's starting to get moved in. Zero turn. Got a bunch of boxes I gotta get rid of. The 54 up on the hoist. This place doesn't have the greatest ceiling height. I probably could go up probably another foot, but uh, it's, I mean, it's way better than my single car garage. Um, it'd be really good for suspension, rockers, you know, those running board brackets that I've been trying to say I'm gonna build for months and I haven't done yet. Way easier on the hoist. So I'm really excited about that and get moving on that. Picked up this massive, it's, nine feet by five feet table and marketplace for 30 bucks so i have all my boxes there i gotta unload got some shelving here that's probably going to take out the first two rows and put a whole workbench across here well, there's the shop i'm going to continue rearranging and unloading and stuff and we will hopefully get back to a video of building the 54 sometime soon i mean I think once again, life's been a little crazy here, and uh, that's okay. You know, it's all for the better. Look at this massive shop I got, way better than my single car garage. I'm so excited. So stay tuned. If you guys want to continue, I might be posting some shop updates of, you know, doing the benches and whatever else I'm building in here, and then we'll be back on the 54. So stay tuned, and uh, good things to come. <laughs>